As we continue our gathering post spam strategy, we've started to run low on ruins. So without further ado, let's get started. It's time to focus on collecting and extracting resources here and in the wasteland. However, we also need to ramp up the research rate as the engineers will be more urgently needed in this scenario. We set that up yesterday, so let's ensure all the engineers are working. We'll also continue to restructure housing around the generator by removing buildings and upgrading housing. Make sure to use paths to plan your city layout so you can just fill in the blanks later. At 9am, our first scouts reached the snow cliff to collect a much needed steam core and continue towards the cracked ice. Meanwhile, let's check up on our newly built steelworks. We need to keep it warm, so we'll place another steam hub there. In addition, our coal mines are doing so well that our outpost team is now waiting to drop off their shipment. We really need to build more storage facilities today as we start building the final coal mine. Looks like we have another rescue operation to run. We'll place two gathering posts nearby and directly send some workers to the site since it's only negative 30 degrees. This is the warmest it will be in this scenario, so you really want to have the city cleaned up by the end of the week. At this point, we're going to place a few resource depots and assign our current one to coal for our outpost delivery. Around 11.30, our second scout team has reached the last cap to collect some steel and our second steam core of the day. They'll continue pushing towards the mighty wreck in the distance. A few minutes later, we managed to save a child's life and get another hope boost. We're nearly there in our last objective. Our final coal mine is up and running a few minutes later. Just in time to take advantage of our coal optimization research. We turn our attention to hunting tactics, as having more free workers is always a good thing. Right now, we're producing over twice as much coal as we consume, so we're in pretty good shape there. However, we can't just sit back, so we'll plan to build another coal thumper to take advantage of all the open space we have now. At 4pm, we assign our newly constructed depots for coal and wood. We'll also remove the hunter's hut between the coal mines and make some adjustments to our paths. At 5.30, we complete hunting tactics research and start on our factory, as we'll want our aptitudes to get back to work soon. Night is coming. Put down. There's also a steam hub that's no longer needed, so we'll dismantle it for now. A little while later, our first scout team reaches the cracked ice and pushes on towards the shrouded cave. Followed by our second team reaching the mighty wreck to collect more steel and a third steam core before heading towards the broken tree. At the end of the workday, we turn our attention towards building out more housing around the generator. This will keep our people busy for the next several hours. At 10pm, we have enough room to build our coal thumper. We also build a few more hangars to bolster food production. We'll be assigning all of our freed-up workers to these buildings later. Shortly afterward, we set our new steam hub to working hours only. We'll get to those ruins soon enough. At 1am, the new tents are completed. And we can use the economy screen to help us begin removing extra housing. We'll also build another sawmill to start collecting wood in the area as we're running out of ruins. To this end, we'll build more depots in anticipation for additional needed storage. At 3 in the morning, our second scouts arrive at the broken tree and push towards a windswept snowfield. Meanwhile, we build a few more medical posts in the newly freed up areas from the housing and staff the coal thumper and hangars we just finished. A few minutes later, our first scout team picks up food from the shrouded cave and heads toward the freshwater springs. We've completed a huge amount of research and exploration today, 
and we're so close to finishing the first phase of the scenario. However, we don't have enough hope to seal the deal yet. If you want to see what to do after this happens though, check out how we do it the next day. This is Fat Beats, signing out.